Thank you. Hey, oh, Jabula, 
Asa loko me. Eh, mobe. Entertainment committee, mobe. Beji tuwa, entertainment committee. Kele gwe. Aja de demo kia. Eh, na nuk bonye bobo. Kwisha mbobo, to wuna tene wa moshi. Woma negege. Woka mwuri kwa yeshi. Awa mwuri kbere. Yene se kubo we. Shagwa gege, uma uma shagwa gege uama, ene uama yekbere. Aja mukia, ono bi shakira shagwa, toshi provost, ni college of education worry, umbri shakira shagwa toshi provost, ni college of education worry uma male from a favorite era. Owe kereju, owe na owe esho wami owe na owe. Ono brashagwa, brashagwa she provost, provost collaboration worry, nek bali worry no boy. Ombri ono brashagwa, to she Shakiri, ni pro ni collaboration worry uma malefwa. No brother esho wau, wakash wakash jano esho wau. Ne so don. Okay, let me. Mobile, I'll call and show. I'm I'm mobile. Let's see what to. To be on your um. What is the what is our what is our staff? Okay. She will go far. Where we go? Where we go? Mrs. Mary Edema. Oh, ne, oh, boy. Ebo, shigale. 
Okay. Adams. It's all right. No. <laughs> Professor Mrs. Mary Edema. Uh, Bokora, Bokoka, let you share, but I will go. A year with Kushan, you too. A year with no treasure, Boba. I recall she, I'm a woman. I will feel good. Oh, Father Akida, Ajamoka, Onobri Shakri to Shabani Football Club, Onobri Shakri to Shabani Football Club, Shisha Senna, where Nobri Shako Shagwa. To need worry, uh, uh, football club, Mama Lefua. Rayoka, go on your own. Let's hold on. Let's see, Madame Mojojo, a more correct, Favre and Era. Obo, eh, on your way, New York. Shakira Shogwa, Toshi, or Messi. O ma se pe ire to wo ke niyan Celeronan Yorubas se kri to sogba si ome si kuri southwest south south and south east wo ma le fun wa gbe go ra re the first shekri lawyer apart from the Celeronan Yorubas first shekri lawyer le so don I want to go right. 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 I want to go to I I Ajaje. for for after the independence, on the first indigenous police officer in Nigeria, Shakrin Woshi, first indigenous police officer in Nigeria. I got it, Shakrin Woshi, Akari, late. Chief at oppressed from Ogbang Gomoshi or Shogwa Lokba to she Nigeria. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
1,000 naira. Mo gbe gba ero. Ari emi ene yi na. Pupo. Ayo gbe jogi gbe. Ah prof. Won agbo won ara ni. Eh eh prof. Ogi ame ke won ni won mo ye gbe. Oye ta mu gbe o to pe were. O sa, o se ngba gbe ogbe. Iwe 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 mag iwe san gidi gbo. But uh, prof mo be jowo mi se gbe be mo be. Enedo gbe. Enedo gbe. Yes. Uno bro shogwa. Uno bro shogwa to shogwa si. Uno bro to si lawyer. Nek bali southwest. South South and South East. Shekin wo she wama. Oru koru. Oru kokoru. Oru kowaru. I lawyer na ke wami yo. Ne so don. One thousand naira. E to. Okay. Okay. Mu wana shite. Oma. Oma. Oma ne mwa mo ni. Nesodo, Mrs. Grace Ogbemi ni eduku when she lawyer shogwa south southwest south south and southeast. Ojo tagba tagba call to bar or waro risk eduku cinema dey to work ekbali wari uka say dey dey free of charge to re or turn away your shogwa lawyer no bre ni ekbali these three geopolitical zones. Mo ba go where. Oh, mama, and mama, me wa e shiri. You want to see that beer? Eh, me too. No, as I mean, I was here before. Terrenio, okay, we. No such thing as senior advocate of Nigeria. Next, Bali, worry. The first son, she shakiri ne. First son, senior advocate of Nigeria. The first S A N, she shakiri ne. Are you a Mac Bell or Chief Abel? Who will be fed and will be more calculator than that? First is Shakiri San. First is Shakiri San, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Eh? Left and worry. What about microphone? No, I bet, I bet. You just see she. A year that Nike come wallo wallo. On the other side, we are going to be all right. Bimi ya iwa. I want to be all right. Oh, John. I just want to know. Question to the bureau. I first check this sound. The question is controversial, in the sense that you see what's converted to sound. QC is equivalent to San. San is equivalent to QC. And the person is Barista Egbe. Which of the Egbe's, please? Not asking for Egbe. The son. Which of the Egbe's? Um, Weber Egbe. Weber Egbe. We're asking of San. So far, it's a San. If you are going to San. The first is Shakiri San. If you are listening, San is a, a, QC is equivalent to San under the British government. Before the Republic, if you are going to sound, you talk about it. Thank you, sir. And a doctor, Weber Egbe was the first Shakiri, senior advocate of Nigeria. Five hundred naira, sir. And a doctor, what do you want to do? Okay, sir. Shakiri Oshogwa, to Oshogwa, she chief of staff, government house at Saba. Chief of Staff, Government House, Asaba. Ah, that was it. Ah, that was it, Shaki. Shaki, they take me one more time. They say what, but they say what. Ah, Jogo Misha, Jogo Mishiki. Hey, you know they take a fake boy, you know. Oba, Oba, I go join you now. Honorable Chief Solomon Arika Otuji, and the doctor. 
the first female permanent secretary, Bender State. The first female Ishakri permanent secretary, Bender State. Nira Bender. Is she dead out? Bender. Bimi, I want to be a word of boom. One of what you like, sir. Anything, I think I can see. I think I can see. Mugbe, oh, ma, Mugbe, oh, ma. Waki, 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 sir. Oh, did they wear on you? Tall for. Eh, would you make the word? P E B Uku, Mrs. Sir, sir, that took bar, that took bar. Chief Mrs. P E B Uku. Okay. Agba Ogbe. Chief Barrister Dr. Mrs. P. B. Uku, first Ishekri Permanent Secretary, Bender State. Ojoye, to testi, or Laja Mere. Ojoye, to be where you to say, or Laja Mere, when it's a movie, but I miss you. Okay. Bruce Lee, my money I beg. Oje, toshi, oje, yene, lori, ba. Rita. Esho. Esho, esho. Eyo ebo o wasa. No, 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 no. I uh, don't see lawyer. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. 500 naira. Rex, Rex, uh, Rex, for you. Mama, go back with 500 naira. Hello. Honor, Kashi. Yet, I work for Bubu, the first permanent secretary in Bender State, Chief Mrs. Dr. Uku. Okay. And I don't know. Oh, boy. I don't know. I'm a lawyer. I don't know. I'm a I'm all looking. Then I say, my she, oh no, bread to Shabashi or you wait, Buru, be what is that local government council? Oh no, bread, Shakrim was she. What is South local government council? The first female secretary. Shakrim. Do we cancel my boy? No, my boy, I am marketing. Oruka, Oruka, I can't put it. We bought a new world. We bought our money. I live again. I go on. We. We, 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 we. Na palace we do na no strike oh. Ne so don, ne so don. Then I see ko oni shagigi. Upe mi aike, wakba. Ko roro wakie. Adwe de de ko roye mi agbu five hundred na na wao. Mrs. Patience, Oti me Adam. Osengwa, ene dokwe, akbe okwe, ene dokwe. Eh, ato wun ojo, irata ne mukba otoro, akbe onu sheke o. Kene kwe department iro. Nese wun obiro. Again, the first police commissioner. First commissioner of police, ti shekri ne. Eh, obona wu datu akbe yue o. Okay, move by Dana Maya. Where? Oh, sir. I know my car, no matter. I be con bono no, get it at a phone bono no. Oh, Jay. Igwe Balonese, only share Jaffa, first check the police commissioner. About where? Rebel Bonobaro gig been way. No, been way after or share Jaffa before been way. Me wa na mire. Oka shi uncle chief Solomon Aranka. Oba ma bi minesi. Oma to wa ba biro. Aya a jabo ke ma mo juni shekiri. Bete eri bo. Bi Jesse. Jesse on leto ni. Mari ti o ya de de ra jabo bi Jesse. Show. Ofa bi minesi. Ajo reke. Ulu. Ako ro ira mi. But I do like a shower in a car. There's a man, Bono Gumel. Oh, did ya? Oh, Billy, oh, yeah, so no Gumel. Oh, yeah, move one room. Oh, Billy, sir.
Eh ajo do tun tere. Eh da pe poto. Eh olopa commissioner ti shekiri se ne commissioner to se gba lefuna li shekiri. A pe poto. Eh orise ja fo tabi agbajo. Or we only via agbajo. Mo be dene dene konuru. Otoji. Again, as a godfather in the field between Agbajo and Orisha Jafo, who became Shakiri Commissioner, first Shakiri Commissioner of Police. Okay. Oto Jemobe, then a bumure. Bumagi Ebobo to retire as a Deputy Commissioner, a car address and commissioner. Bobo ACP, address and commissioner. To make you to pay me, me buy me design you, but also marry you, me talk with me, eat eat with me, full CP on one day. So Oshibo, I'm putting me a real thing. We make it funny. Doctor, you charge for Oshibo, you care for all our road ahead, so you can also. Doctor, over to you, sir. Thank you. I'm glad you're I'm glad you're senior to Oshibo for. Okay, uh, uh, Chakri again, our lobby, or uh, Bill Kilibo, our Rokitikit, and Commissioner, or our deputy, a badger, the direct commissioner. Go back, go back, and a doctor. A doctor. A doctor. A doctor. Thank you, sir. And a doctor. 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 A Young go. Entertainment committee, Mobile. I don't know Joe Aferia. Hello. Engineer David Mickey. Engineer David Mickey Erubo.
Ayalaya, Ami Wagado, Mama, Mama, Ijo, Ukweka, Pajata, Ijo, Mama, Kaboza, Hallelujah, Oh, Mama, Yeah, oh, my, 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 my,
Robinson, Mario, Ego Goti Wari, and Ekien. I did it. Eruba, and I can. Are you a noibo? I did it. Back, yeah, Jojito, oh, 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 o
la cata yo yo tu de la cata na de yo Majesty's third anniversary on the throne of ancient Wari Kingdom. So please, may we get settled. May we get settled. Uh, our phones should be on silence or vibration mode, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, we'll put us together for the dancers. Move back, 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 back. Put us together for them. I shall look back, back, back. I'm not joking around. Put your hands together for them beautifully. And a dog bear, and a dog bear, and she. A year for a while. Yeah, 
As we receive our Father, His Majesty, Ogame Atuashe, the third step of the law for it. Ogame, a for sure.
distribution or service. Yes, yes, yes. I'm preaching again. Shakri did you in a kyang out? And I better than a keep a one with an agonio. Oh, gamma swo. Oh, boru. A for sure. Your Majesty. Today is the two of your anniversary, Your Majesty. The hall is filled to brim with your kind permission, Your Majesty. I humbly call on Chief Brown Mene, the Ogolusa of Wari, to give us an opening prayers. Please, gentlemen of the press, avoid the throne with your lenses, your cameras, individual phones. Please avoid the throne for now. Thank you. After the prayers, we shall beckon on you to continue with your coverage. Please. Please. Thank you. Somebody. Our Heavenly Father, we give you the praise, the honor, the worship, and the thanksgiving for your goodness to us. Omiwere, Ugiame, and all of us together. Thank you for our gathering here today to rejoice together. By your grace, may our joy be full. And what we shall do here today, may it bring us closer to you. Closer to the good you have prepared for us. Closer to our being more worshipful to you. We thank you for hearing us. Thank you for answering us. Because we pray in Jesus' name. Please, with absolute succession to His Majesty, may we remain standing as we take the Shakri Anthem. Please, may we be seated. Ajore Amulunike. Twa donja ya erewa. Oga mi baba twa donja ya erewa. Don't 
For sure. With your kind permission, Your Majesty, your children, a group known and addressed as Ubarajo Iwara Leaders Foundation, they are into social, cultural, and non partisan Ishekiri group. They are here to organize a lecture, third coronation anniversary lecture titled The Challenges of Ethnic Minorities Within the Nigerian State. The speaker is Professor Benson O. Osadolo, your son, our friend, all the way from Edo State, former acting VC, Ambrose Lee University, Edo State. Discussants, Your Majesty, our Chief Robinson Arreo Esquire, Right Honorable Daniel Reneju, Sir A.S. Mene, taking place today in your hall, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I'll be calling on your son, Mr. Monoyo, who is assigned for this first assignment. Monoyo, please. Please, move put hands together for him. Mr. Monoyo Edon. Agbawagbo Enebeo. Thank you so very much, my very respected elder brother, senior colleague, sorry, ancestor colleague in the business. <laughs> because this is one of my business to Anchorage, but whenever he's here, I don't get to get close to the microphone because he's born with it. Please put your hands together for Barrister David Oki. Okay, my assignment here is simple. Um, the Ugbarajo were a leaders foundation they are the ones anchoring this um, lecture series but it's important we know who they are they are one of the many groups in the Niger Delta region advancing providing 
a multi-stakeholders partnership that enables the remediation and progress of the Ishakiri Nation. Their mission is very simple. One, they promote strategies for cultural, economic, political, educational, as well as social advancement of the Ishakiri Nation. They also act as watchdog for the protection and promotion of Ishakiri cause. They espouse Ishakiri interest in all ramification. They also encourage the participation of intellectuals and industrialists in politics with a view to promoting excellence as a culture. And uh, today, we'll be having some of the, our wonderful guest uh, lead speaker is a very, respe very respected acad academic in the University of Benin, my alma mater, my alma, Ambrose Ali University. Um, please, without wasting time, I would like to read the citation of our lead speaker um, just now. All right. So our lead speaker is Professor Osarime Bensin Osadolo. He holds a Bachelor of Education. Please, can, please, um, can you just let me, okay, so that we can see him very well, please, paparazzi and uh, gentlemen of the press. Thank you. Please, as he comes, please, you may want to put your hands together for him, please. Seasoned, internationally acclaimed academ academic. Okay. So let me continue. He holds a Bachelor of Education degree in history from the University of Benin, my alma mater. Master of Arts from the University of Ibadan in 1988. Doctor of Philosophy uh, from in African history from the University of Hamburg, Germany in 2001. He began his career as assistant lecturer at the University of Ibadan in 1988 and joined the University of Benin in 2004 as lecturer, one, and rose to the position of full professor in 2014. He has taught at Morgan State University, Baltimore, Maryland, between 2008 and 2009. Professor Osarime is a Nigerian educationist, historian, administrator, and security policy advisor. He has had a successful career in the university where he has taught in Nigeria, the United States, and Europe. Professor of History and International Studies, University of Benin. Occasional lecturer to Baltimore City Co Community College, Baltimore, for the spring of 2009. Occasional lecturer to Western Michigan University, Kalamazoo, Michigan Springs in the 2009 semester. San Diego State University, San Diego, California, University of America, same here. There's one several lorries, I'll just keep that because the CV is too rich. Can cook you a good, good scrumptious pot of academic soup. All right, uh, he's a member of a number of professional bodies. Let me just run through some state management and political institutes, institutions in Nigeria. Before, uh, okay, some of his recent publications, so many too, so let me just keep that, please. He has served in the university and outside in various capacities. He has served as Dean of Students of the University of Benin from 2016 to 2018. Member of the Governing Council of the University of Benin since 2023. Member of the Technical Advisory Group of the Tertiary Education Trust Fund. Uh, on the 8th of August 2019 to 2022, and consultant 2014 National, National Conference Abuja, member of the committee on the final report of the 2014 National Conference Abuja, acting vice chancellor, Ambrose Ali University, Ekboma, Edo State, between 2021 to 2022. He is the founder and president of the Transatlantic Security Knowledge Systems Task is married and blessed with children. Please, ladies and gentlemen, if your hands are not too busy, please put your hands together for Prof. Osarime as it comes to, I think he wants to, he wants to honor Ogyame Atuwashe III on the occasion of his coronation anniversary, of course. Very culturally inclined. All right. 
Prof, you are well, very much welcome to worry. This is also your home. All right, Prof, the red chair is reserved for you. Okay, I'll just go through the others quickly so as they come to the uh, place. Next is a very erudite legal luminary. Is our, in a lot of things to a lot of us, uh, Chief Robinson, Eriomala Ario. Is where's Chief? Chief, please, sir, we just so that I can read your citation. You are one of our own, we are very proud of. So I know you wouldn't want to stand, but because of this, uh, the events of this nature, please, sir, please put your hands together for Chief Robinson Ario as it comes to so that we can read your citation. No, no. Okay, all right. Okay, Chief Robinson, Ario Mala Ario. He had his basic education in Ikenbua Primary School, worry, here, between 1977 and 1983. Clap for your old boy now. Those of you who are here, Ikenbua Primary School people. Uh -huh. He had the secondary education at St. Thomas Aquinas College in Akure between 1984 and 1989. He holds a BA in philosophy, and he had uh, in Edo State, Ekbo Matu, uh, Bachelor of Law degree, second class upper, from the prestigious Obafemi Awolo War University, Ilefe, in Nigeria. He holds a Master's of Law, Obafemi Awolo War University, Ilefe, in Nigeria. Chief Ario holds certificates in nonviolent transformation of conflict from the University of Geneva, peace in 2005, media and peace building, American University, Washington in 2013, uh, women and peace building, American University, Washington, DC too, same year, 2013. Based on his world of experience in peace building, Chief Arroyo has severally been engaged by the International Foundation for Education and Self-Help IFESH, and the United States Agency for International Development, USAID. Peace building programmer for the partnership initiatives in the Niger Delta, pinned for three years. Please put your hands together for him. In recognition of his skills, the Delta State Government of Nigeria engages services in the peace efforts resulting in the bilateral agreement between the Ijaws and the Ishakiris of Wari. Delta State of Nigeria, a then conflict hotspot. Your friends are still here too to celebrate with us. He was winner of the Professor Osamehai Memorial Award for the most morally and academically sound 300 level student for the year 1993 at the Edo State University. Please put your hands together for Chief Robinson Ario. He's married with two lovely children. He is the managing director and CEO of Ario. Robinson Ario and Co., a law firm with operational basis in Wari here and Abuja. Please put your hands together as you take the seat. Please put your hands together, please. All right. We're supposed to have, uh, thank you, Chief. We're supposed to have the third. Um, discussed, but he is unavoidably absent. Also on a wary assignment elsewhere, that is as uh, A.S. Mene. But in his stead, we have another erudite scholar. This one also an academic. Paul Jackson Ireyefoju. Please, is Mr. Paul here? Okay, please put your hands together as it comes for his brief, brief citation. All right. Mr. Paul Jackson Ray Forju teaches and researches as a lecturer in the College of Education, School of General Education, Department of Educational Foundations, Worry. His areas of research interest are epistemology, early childhood care education, adolescence, existential phenomenology, and educational philosophy. He is a member of the Philosophers of Education Association of Nigeria, PIN. He is currently the secretary concerned Iwere People for Higher Education Foundation, promoters of the proposed University of Wari Obitubo. Please put your hands together for Mr. Paul Jackson Rayford as he comes first to greet Ogame 
Atuashe the third, the law of worry, CFRO, and then it takes a seat. All right. Please put your hands together as it goes to his seat. As I okay. We have uh, this discussant, but there has to be a pilot. There has to be a host of this. Uh, please, sir, this way. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, sir. We have uh, another person, but uh, he needs no citation. To those of us here in Wari, in the Wari Federal constituency, he needs no citation. We know him. He is also a graduate of philosophy. So we're having a lot of philosophers here. He was in the Federal House of Reps for three tenure. He is no other person but Honorable Daniel Orishe Bubemi Reineju, popularly known as Daw. All right. He was also one time the, nas the national president of the Shekiri National Youth Council, INYC, the pioneer chairman, uh, president of the INYC. I can see Comrade Utiani. Yeah, aha, uh -huh. this is the ancestor coming to take his seat. All right, there has to be a captain, a pilot of this session. I am not. I'm just going to call her. She needs no introduction. She was the provost of the College of Education, Worry, and a very respected academic also from the University of Benin, Professor Mary Olire Edema. Please put your hands together as she come takes over my job as a very senior mommy MC and anchor. All right. Hey, of course, yes. Yeah, she's taking my job now. She has lovely children, all professionals, doctors, lawyers, accountants, any of the profession, the first five, they say in those days. She has all of them. Mommy, you're welcome. All right, my job is done for now as I hand over the microphone to our erudite professor, Mommy. Ogiam will just call the lead speaker for today, Professor Usareme Osadolo, former Vice Chancellor in Amrosali University, to give us his lead paper. Thank you. Your Majesty. Ogame Atowashi the third CFR, the Olu of Worry, our distinguished chiefs of this great and wonderful kingdom, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press. First, let me begin by congratulating His Majesty on this third anniversary coronation of ascending to the throne of his ancestors. May the Lord God Almighty continue to enrich you and bless you and your royal family with the riches of his grace in the mighty name of Jesus. May you live long to glorify the name of the almighty God as you sit on the throne of your ancestors. Secondly, let me thank the Shekiri Nation for this wonderful opportunity extended to me to be part of the celebration of royalty in Wari today. I appreciate it and may the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name. My keynote paper is titled The Challenges of Ethnic Minorities within the Nigerian state. I will take the perspective of a professional historian to look at the challenges that minorities face in Nigeria. But first, let us look at the global trends. Here, I've said that ethnic minorities are culturally and ethnically distinct social groups that does not form a numerical majority in a larger society. 
ethnic minorities are set apart but bound together by common ties, language, nationality, culture, traditions, and heritage. Historically in Africa, America, Asia, Australia, and Europe, the legacy of colonial conquest or migrations through diverse peoples brought together a kind of relationship that has put all of us today in a nation state called Nigeria. The significant distinguishing characteristics in the classification of ethnic groups as minorities is that they are few and outnumbered by a dominant group and considered to be subordinate to the dominant group, albeit a non-dominant group with limited political influence in the wider society. In most contemporary societies in the world, Your Majesty, being a minority ethnic group carries many challenges, not always faced by members of the majority ethnic group, such as marginalization and neglect to forcible elimination from a society which have ranged from expulsion, mob violence, to ethnic cleansing and genocide. Many examples exist. The worst genocides of the last century are acknowledged to include those of the Herero in Namibia in 1904, the Armenians in the Ottoman Empire in 1916, Jews, Romans, Slavs, and others in Nazi-occupied Europe in 1941, the indigenous population of Guatemala in 1982, Muslim Bosniaks in Bosnia in 1991, the Tutsis in Rwanda in 1994, and elsewhere provide tragic evidence of the forcible elimination of minorities. Let us now look at the Nigerian state the historical facts. The evolution of the Nigerian state began from 1861. And of course, by 1914, what today is Nigeria was born. The British conquest and colonization and a new structure of administration in the protectorate, first in 1906, the Lagos Colonial Protectorate was amalgamated with the Protectorate of Southern Nigeria. And in 1914, the amalgamation of Southern and Northern Protectorate to form what is today known as the Nigerian state. The Nigerian state came into existence in 1914, consists of several nationalities with varying degrees of ethnic and cultural diversities. Ethnic diversity is one form of social complexity in most contemporary societies. Constitutions and constitutional changes in Nigeria, first 1922, 1946, 1951, 1954, and 1960, all of these created new structures of administration, and in particular, the beginning of regional politics in Nigeria in 1946. Three regions were created. The structural imbalance in the regions led to crisis and the federal solution. The fears of the minorities were such that they began to agitate for their own regions. From 1945 to 1960 was the period that the British that had colonized Nigeria decided to decolonize. In other words, to transfer power to Nigerians and return back to England. The era of decolonization from 1945 to 1960 witnessed the effect of regionalism, ethnic and hegemonic politics which shaped political behavior 
and the expression of the fears of ethnic minorities who found no future or political relevance in an independent Nigeria. The problem revolved around three regions in the north, west, and east. And east region consisted of many ethnic groups, but dominated by large ethnic groups in each region. The Hausa Fulani in the north, the Yoruba in the west, the Ibu in the east. At the 1949-50 Constitutional Conference, a major problem which sought to be resolved was that of ethnic diversity and managing the heterogeneous groups in the Nigerian states. The conference failed to adopt a federal solution and to correct the structural imbalance of their administrative units. In the post-war, that is the end of the Second World War in 1945, nationalist agitation for self-government and the attainment of national unity was such that it favored a federal solution to the problems of ethnic diversity. For example, in the debates in the Legislative Council from 1947 and onwards, and the 1949 constitutional discussions in the interest of Nigeria's ethnic diversity, none took them seriously. While I was at Ibadan, I had the privilege to read at the National Archives all the, de the debates published in Hansards from 1923 to 1960, and which I did for my master's in history at the University of Ibadan, and that earned me a distinction. What I studied from the debates is that the ethnic minorities in Nigeria had their voices, but never had their way. Ethnic and minority rights issues colored early nationalist politics and thus shaped the process of decolonization in Nigeria. Leaders of minority ethnic groups agitated for their own different states before the attainment of independence, which was regained in 1960. Ethnic minority groups demanded for constitutional safeguards as guarantees against their political domination by majority ethnic groups in an independent Nigeria. In 1957, Sir Henry Willing was named by the colonial government as the chairman of the commission to ascertain the facts and thereupon recommend measures of allaying the fears of minority ethnic groups in Nigeria. Its 1958 report has become frequently cited when discussing minority rights in Nigeria. The, the Willick Commission failed woefully to provide a, solution, a resolution of what will persist as a national crisis after independence. And that has become known as the national question in some debates, the minority question, and in some other debates, is referred to as the national question. Though the Commission rejected the demand for creating separate states for ethnic minorities in his report. Nevertheless, it recommended that a Bill of Rights patterned along European Convention on Human Rights be incorporated into the independence constitution as a way of safeguarding minority rights through national integration. Hence, copious provisions to protect some basic human rights and fundamental freedoms were enshrined in the independence constitution. The, the Willick Commission characterized the Niger Delta, where we are now, as infrastructurally and generally poor, backward, and neglected, and advised the government to establish a federal board to be known as the Niger Delta Development Board to address the problems of the area. The commission also recommended that the Calabar province be constituted as a minority area 
to address the problems of development in the area. The challenges of ethnic minorities in the post-colonial Nigerian states had their roots in the colonial period. The colonial states could not address the grievances of evolving politics of discrimination and political exclusion, marginalization, domination, and injustice against ethnic minority groups. The manner in which nationalism became a regional issue and ethnicity also politicized in the 1950s drifted the Nigerian state from one crisis to another even after the attainment of independence in 1960. Let us now look at minorities in the web of national crisis and civil war from 1960 to 1970. From this period, the ethnic minorities were caught in a web of national crisis and the outbreak of a civil war in 1967 that lasted until January 1970. After independence in 1960, Nigeria became so divided because of ethnocentric politics and this surprising politics of zero-sum thinking which generated crisis and conflict and the collapse of the First Republic on 15th January 1960. In 1962, the Niger Delta Development Board was established as state intervention in the acknowledgement of the neglect of the region and its ecological problems. The board made no impact because problems or challenges of the minorities was overshadowed by the green power struggle among the major ethnic groups. In August 1963, the Midwest region was created through a plebiscite, bringing the regions to fall. This is the Midwest, this is the Western Niger Delta, that is the present Edo and Delta states. The movement for the creation of a separate region for the minorities in the Western region began in 1952 with the formation of the Benin Delta People's Party, PDPP, to champion the cause of ethnic autonomy from Western region. In 1967, the military government of General Yakubu Gawon created 12 states to correct the structural imbalance of the Federation. Since then, military administrators have turned the Nigerian presidency into an imperial presidency as military regimes enthroned authoritarianism, elite state capture, and neo-federalism. Your Majesty, during the Civil War, the Biafran forces invaded the Midwest states, and while under Biafran occupation, the state was declared the Republic of Benin. As Nigerian forces liberated the region, the Republic collapsed only a day after declaration. In one day, in 1967, the minorities in the Midwest had the country they never bargained for and was declared by the Socialist State of Biafra of the Igbo majority group. Studies on ethnic minorities in Nigeria Biafra war, often referred to as the forgotten victims, were basically the ethnic minorities, both in eastern Nigeria and the west of Nigeria. The question is did the minorities in Biafra support secession? Or, or why were they accused of sabotage? Your Majesty, since the end of the Civil War in 1970, Nigeria has witnessed four state creation exercises, and the Nigerian Federation today exists of 36 states. Each state creation could not completely eliminate minority problems. Each state creation exercised in 1976, 19 states, 
1987, 21 states, 1991, 30 states, and 1996, 36 states initiated fresh minority problems by playing up the differences among the communities that were constituted into the new states. Although the 1967 state creation exercise was largely designed to promote a more equitable accommodation of minority groups within the federal structure, subsequent reorganization exercises have been guided largely by the need to give satisfaction to distributive pressures emerging mainly from majority groups. The ethnic factor has become prominent in the politics of state creation. The 1967 and 76 state exercises were carried out to address the issues of ethnic minorities. However, in post-war Nigeria, we have seen that the federal system has been over-centralized. And for the minority ethnic groups in this kind of federal situation, they are powerless, unable to protect their rights from being eroded by hegemonic ethnic groups. We know the history very clearly of the militancy in Niger data. Today, 36 states of Nigeria are grouped into six geopolitical zones. North Central, North East, North West, South South, South East, and South South. And the minority ethnic groups are mainly in the South South and North Central of Nigeria. Whether it is an accident of history or God's creation, only those who are experts in geography can explain. Over the years, the North Central has witnessed varying degrees and dimensions of ethnic communal conflicts, often resulting in widespread violence, instability, and recently, ethnic cleansing and genocide against ethnic minorities in North Central. Over the years, too, the South South was a hotbed of conflicts and violence with varying interpretations of the challenge as oil and community disturbance, or the Niger Delta crisis, or simply the minority agitation, or in the context of the national question. The challenges of ethnic minorities in the South South and North Central of Nigeria are complex and difficult with profound consequences. Your Majesty, I have limited time. But first, let us look at understanding the key challenges of ethnic minorities in the Nigerian states. First of all, the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended does not recognize the rights of ethnic minorities, but the fundamental rights of every individual which are civil and political in nature. What matters to ethnic minorities is the enforcement of the right to development and socioeconomic rights of minorities through fiscal federalism and intergovernmental relations. Second, the causes of conflicts and violence in the minority ethnic geopolitical zones of Northwest and South South are complex. Solutions to consider why violence happens and then apply a socio-economic model to outline the factors that contribute to violence at different levels and apply best practices for violence prevention. Thirdly, as a result of the challenges that come with, with critical issues of the control of power and resources, marginalization, neglect, exclusion, social injustice, and human rights violation, deprivations, etc., the contradictions of state intervention can be addressed through the restructuring of the Nigerian state. Fourthly, there is often the absence of inadequacy of infrastructure and development in minority areas. And of course, let us look at the incidence of poverty in minority areas like the Orish Niger Delta. 
Because of the level of poverty, neglect, and deprivation, I mentioned earlier, state intervention was first through the establishment of the Niger Data Development Board, established in 1962. The Niger Data Basin Development Authority, established in 1976. The Oil Minerals Producing Area, Area Development Council, OPADEC, in 1992. The Panel on Options for the Development of Niger Data in 1998 and the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, in 2002. All have been avenues for massive public corruption and looting in the Nigerian state. Fifthly, fifthly, Your Majesty, the breakdown of social relations and values, such as equality and fairness, has undermined trust in institutions of governance. When you hear, go to court, is it about paying for justice in the Nigerian state or that all people have ability to bring their claims before a court? Certainly, this may be a key challenge to ethnic minority rights because the Nigerian state has politicized its judiciary. The incidence of minority rights infractions by the majority is a global phenomenon, and in Nigeria, the persistent calls by minorities against domination and, sub and subjugation has led to the ever-increasing agitation for the structuring of the Federation, and in some cases, for outright self-determination. We all are familiar with Niger Delta, the OD massacre, and several massacres that have happened in Niger Delta as a result of rights infractions of the, major, of the minorities. Finally, Your Majesty, minority populations have been disadvantaged with the federal, federal character principle of fairness and equity in the distribution of public posts and socioeconomic infrastructure among the various federating units of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The implementation and enforcement of the federal character have become objects of ridicule with the predominance of persons from a few states or majority ethnic groups benefiting from recruitments, promotions, and appointments in most ministries, departments, and agencies. President Muhammad Buhari was one of the violators of the federal character. Truth is that the violation of diversity is affecting the Nigerian state of loyalty and a sense of belonging. Closely related is to this is the use and abuse of the quota system in Nigeria that denies opportunities for the brightest and brilliant minds of minority ethnic groups for placement in the civil service, military, and higher institution. Your Majesty, I draw my conclusion. The challenges and opportunities for minority ethnic groups in the Nigerian state cannot be looked at in isolation of the critical factor of restructuring and true federalism. The overcentralization of the federal system is a major threat to minority ethnic populations. Therefore, restructuring and true federalism will deepen and strengthen the institutions of governance that will enhance our efforts and commitment to nation building. Your Majesty, thank you. God bless you. Thank you all. Thank you all. Ojo. Thank you. Just before our discussions come in, I want to just make three sentences of recap. One, he has told us that we have a problem of marginalization and neglect and this has resulted in poverty. I'm sure we are all familiar with it in Shekiri land. Secondly, that the majority tend to resort to ethnic cleansing in order to take over. The rights of the minority is not regarded, but we talk about human rights or individual rights. So at the end of the day, they can take your land 
and claim that it is individual rights. And lastly, the minority rights infraction is almost embedded in a Nigerian state. On that note, I'm going to step aside now. We now want to look at the Ishekiri situation. We are going to look at it legally, politically, and social culturally. At this point, I want to invite Chief Robinson Ario to speak on the legal aspect. Chief Ario. Thank you very much, Prof. Your Majesty, sir, Bill Lurie, um, members of the Warri Council of Chiefs here present, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I elect to stand on existing protocols because of the need to wrap up on time. Now, I want to speak to two key points, and that is being specific about the definition of minority. For over 60 years that Nigeria has been in existence, we have not defined minority. The only attempt to have a deliberation on the marginalization of minority was focused on the Niger Delta region. Now, the Shekiris exist only predominantly in three local government council areas. And so when you are speaking about minority, relating to 775 local government council areas, you need to redefine the word minority. We are micro, my, micro, micro minorities. So when you get up and agitate with the so-called minority and the benefits come, you are suppressed down because minority is a relative concept. Within the Niger Delta, there are majorities that benefit sumptuously from the struggle of the so-called minority. So the first thing is, let us define who we are. The Amnesty Office has been dominated since its existence. It was one of the yearnings, the response to the yearnings of the Niger Delta region that that office was created. And yet, within that sphere of minority, there are some relative majority in the minority oppressing the minorities. Ojo. And so, we have to know that when the call comes to fight for minority, we have to identify the minority we are fighting for. We have to link up with people like us, the Ogonis, and form an alliance of micro-minorities. If we do so, our benefit in the amnesty office will come to us. Our benefit in NDDC will come to us. But if every time we fight, our voices are sucked in by the flag minority, we don't get it by the time it now comes to the region. For example, we ought to have produced somebody in NDDC in this circle, but we did not. That is a case of marginalization, of micro-minority by minority. So we need to emphasize that point, and that is one. Because if you don't define who you are, then you can't go to where you want to go to. We are not minorities, we are micro-minorities. Micro -minority. Now, the effort by the colonial master, I want to thank the learned prof here for doing a beautiful work. The effort by the colonial masters to address the fears of minorities was only to address the fear of the major minorities and not the micro minorities. And so, if you read that report, it was limited to the Niger Delta region. Delta state is only a state out of the Niger Delta region. Ishekiris are only a minute part of Delta state. We have peculiarities. Why others will be fighting marginalization, we are fighting survival. And I will give you the examples. The examples are numerous. Take the last two tenure in Delta State. Call 
seven, the seven active team members. The governor, we are not there. Deputy, we are not there. Speaker, we are not there. Head of judiciary, we are not there. Should I go on? The key commissioners, list them five, we are not there. In the past nine years, and those who are there are minorities. You see a case of minorities oppressing micro minorities. So if we don't identify this point, how can we move? Now, it is not the case that the law does not provide for us. The law does. But the problem as usual is implementation. I will challenge you when you get home, read section 14, subsection 3 and 4 of the Constitution, which I will crave the indulgence of His Majesty to read out. It says, the composition of the government of the Federation or any of its agencies and the conduct of its affairs shall be carried out in such a manner as to reflect federal character and the need to promote national unity and also to command national loyalty, thereby ensuring, emphasis, thereby ensuring that there shall be no predominance of persons from a few states or a few ethnic tribes over sectional groups in government. That's at the federal level. Now come to the state level. It says the same thing. Emphasis that there shall not be predominance of one ethnic group over the other. If you analyze what has happened in Delta State, both the tenure of Okoa and the present tenure, would you be able to say that this section is not being violated? No. It's being violated. Very now, correct. To show you the wickedness of Nigerians, when this is a reproduction, a reincarnation of the same provision in previous constitutions, the 1999 constitution, we pretend that we have a document that is imperfect, and that's why every session, every tenure, you hear people talking about amendment of the constitution. What can we do with this? It will surprise you to know that the breach of this section is punishable under the law. If you go to the Federal Character Commission, the schedule under the Federal Character Commission, one of its duties is to monitor the implementation of this position and punish those officers that are responsible to it, for it. So it is not the case that these things are not there. It is the case that we have not yet woken up. And today, I've come to tell us that we should wake up. We should wake up and speak. You, you may be in government. You may be in government and doing your business. You can contribute on the table to tell those in power that my people ought to be considered in view of these provisions. Do you compose a commission with other tribes, I will shock you. There is a body called the Delta State Judicial Service Commission. For the past nine years, there has not been an Ishekiri person member there. Other tribes have been represented. What do you call that? Do you call that a struggle for, against minority? No, micro-minority. It is the case of minorities oppressing micro-minorities. Let us not deceive ourselves. Let us realize that every agitation we have to distinguish and define what concerns us. Every time you pick a flag and say you are joining the Niger Delta Mission, ask yourself, what is your own proportion there? Because the same people in front there will come back home and oppress you. So, one of the things I have proposed is that we should tell the government of the Federation that, should, that there should be a commission for the protection of micro-minorities. <laughs> we also have to do some things ourselves. We need advocacy. And advocacy can only come when we familiarize ourselves with the facts. Today, there is gross disobedience of court judgment, and others. So, if you cannot brandish the gun and the bullet, 
you should be able to brandish your biro. But in this case, the biro has been blocked. And I will tell you how. If you take the example of the ongoing de delimitation or delineation exercise, in 1997, the Shekiris challenged the gerrymandering of Worry South, and they did it successfully. Judgment was entered. Before the judgment, there was an interlocutory order. INEC, I mean, NECON, don't use 12 word, use 10 word. That order was there. And those who ensured that the order was not implemented are minorities, though. The minorities that you will hide under the same umbrella and be fighting and be shouting of marginalization, marginalization, marginalization. You have to understand your own species of marginalization. So those people work to ensure that for more than 20 years, a judgment that was given, which made the Shekiris able to hitherto produce four seats in the House of Assembly and be able to contribute during state discourse was lacerated. We can't even guarantee two any longer. Two. One, of, one of our national assembly seats was moved. We used to have two seats in the National assembly, House of Reps. One was moved. Still a case of the oppression of the micro minorities by the minorities. So when you talk about minority, it's a relative term. The relativity of minority is in relation to the other domineering group. In Delta states, we have micro minorities. So our interest is not necessarily our interest is not necessarily uniform. So we have not yet begun articulating our interests. We need to reach out, reach out to the Ogonis and our likes and ask, agitate, that indeed there should be protection for micro minorities. Your Excellency, the Olori, thank you very much and God bless. We'll just take a few key points. One, that we are a micro minority. Secondly, the Shekri nation is fighting for survival. And thirdly, we need advocacy. On that note, I'll step back and ask Right Honorable Ray Neju to speak to us on the political angle. Honorable sir. First of all, let me join millions of well wishers all over the world to congratulate you sincerely on this third coronation anniversary. May the Lord Almighty continue to guide you and give you the wisdom to manage our people. Ogyame, I, I never thought a day would come. I never thought a day would come where I would stand before my people to pretend not to know that I would be stabbing myself. And I'm saying this because I've always been part of it. And for whatever I'm going to be saying here, I have the larger stab which may kill me or may give me serious injury. But if killing me will save the lives of thousands and millions of Shakiri all over the world, I will prefer to die. Jory, Jory. I have... Um, I have listened and I've been asked and in fact when I was contacted to take this topic I was very reluctant 
and I said I was going to get back, and I never got back. And within me, I accepted it. I am drawing my own topic from the lead speaker to mean the declining political prospect of Ishekiri ethnic minorities in Nigeria, 1999 to present challenges, implications, and imperative of inclusive governance. Unfortunately, my majesty, in politics, they used to tell us that there is no morality. The question will be, how prepared are you? If you are not prepared, you will see yourself as a minority being oppressed. This is politics. However, I, I do not intend to go through all of these grammars. But for me to be able to point out the few things that I want to point out, I would want to define a little what politics is all about. And also give reasons why we're where we are, because Chief Ario just mentioned that we used to have four House of Assembly members. I noted it here too, it's on my paper. And unfortunately today we have two. It doesn't really end there. We used to have three local government and in most of this local government we used to have chairman and vice chairman at the same time. Today we're struggling to have two. You can't even have the vice chairman to the two you that you have. This is how far we have degenerated. This is how far we have gone. Who has done it? Daniel Ray, Niju, and others. <laughs> However, I would say politics is a multifaceted concept that permeates all aspects of human society. At its core, politics involves exercise of power. Please note it, exercise of power and influence to make collective decision for a group or a society, in this case, the Shakiri as an ethnic group. It encompasses the process, activities, and behavior through which individuals and groups compete, cooperate, and negotiate to achieve specific goals or outcomes. The study of politics is essential to understanding how societies govern themselves, allocate resources, navigate conflict of interest, political systems vary widely across different culture, historical contexts ranging from democratic to authoritarian, centralized or decentralized, and inclusive to exclusive. I'll jump most of these things. And then, you have the social science definition of politics. I wouldn't want to go into that anymore again. You also have the philosophical perspective as defined by philosophers, which I, one of them, we see it differently. But the most important and the underlining in all definitions that you will get about politics is always power and sharing. Who is the minority? Who is the majority? Then, we go to how politics are played. You have former politicking, former politics. How does that work? That is people like us who are practical politicians. We belong to political parties, party A, party B, party C. And then why do you belong there? To grab the power? what comes from grabbing of power. And then you have the informal politics. In the aspect of informal politics, how do you survive there? Who participate in that particular informal sector? People who are not registered political party, who are elites of a society. Elites, in this case now, Shakiri elites. They sit down, analyze issues, and try to direct the former politicians. And then you have the trado cultural players. That is where Ogiame and his chiefs comes in strongly. They are always behind the scene. 
to direct the process of those participating from the ethnic nationality. However, I could say I wasn't born when Okotiaba was alive. But we hear a lot of good things. Was he a majority then? When he was doing those good things that he was doing? No. And Okotiaba left. And Ruwane took over. Was he, was Ruwane a majority? As a den. I met Ruwane. I did a little politics as a young man. Then I was, you know, very young myself and a couple of my friends. Some of them are not here today. We used to have very fantastic handwritings. So they would draft us to, you know, go as presiding officers to some of the riverine areas. That is how close I worked with the Rowanians. But I knew they did their best and, you know, bequeathed to us. And I'll say us starting from 1999. And that is where we started dwindling. That is where we started fading. How did it happen? I said, today I want to pose a question here. I now belong to a party called the APC. And I used to be in the PDP. Who is my political leader in APC? And who is the political leader in PDP? In Ishakiri. That is where it starts from, the dwindling. Because when Okotiba was alive, he was a political leader par excellence. He knew what he wanted for his people, he knew how to go for it, and he always got what he wanted. We had ministers, we had permanent secretaries, the Aidas of this world, all of them. And then Rowanet took over, like I said. We got all of those. But today, I want to ask again, who is my political leader? Asi Shekiri. Then who is my political leader in PC? Who do I defer to? Who do I run to? Should I always take political issues to Ogyame to bother him and then find a way to ruffle him? I feel very disturbed. And why I say this? Who is not a minority? No morality in politics. Jonathan became president. Is he from my majority tribe in Nigeria? How did he? How was he able to make it? How? And then, after Jonathan, the power went back to the north. And then, it came back again to the south. The Eurobas didn't tell you that we had had it before with Obasanjo from 1999 to 2007. They grabbed it again. They didn't bother to want to let you have it in the south, south other part of the south. That is politics for you. The question to us as Chekiri people is how prepared are we? Who is suppressing you? Your inability to prepare is what is haunting you. Our inability to prepare and grab the power is what is haunting us. Not because we are minorities. Because we've had minorities in the past who has performed excellently well. I want to tell you why we have failed or why we have refused, most especially the younger ones that are upcoming, to see any politician as their leader. How do I respect my leader when what I'm looking for is what my leader is looking for? After elections, I want to be commissioner, and the leader wants to be commissioner. So how do I respect you? Where will that respect come from? Or if I'm not taking it, or if the leader is not taking it, he's giving it to his son first. Who is even less qualified than yourself? So how do I respect the leader? This is where we are getting it wrong. 
And I want to tell us 2027 is just, no, 2037 is around the corner. There will be a zonal shift of the governorship again to the south. How prepared are we? Most likely, except some miracle happens, which does happen. Of course, Jonathan wasn't expecting to be president, but he was president. The governorship in 2031 should either be going to the Jaws or the Sokos. Is it too late for Shakiri to start preparing now and what are our political leaders doing? Are they waiting only to sit to be consulted with cola nuts and drinks and pray for more than 30 candidates? And at the end of the day, whoever wins, it was my prayer. But you prayed for all of them. So when you were praying for them, you were hoping all of them wins at the same time, just one position. Is that what we're waiting for? What are we going to be doing from now on? I want to say that you must try as much as possible to make sure that we have a political leader that people listen to. I do not, from my own experience, maybe when Udwan was governor, no leader, both in APC and in PDP, can approach a governor and say, this is the Shekiri position on this candidate. Not coming from Baba, that the governor will listen to. Because the home is never settled. The home is never settled. Only recently, we had local government issues. The leaders couldn't come up with one consensus candidate. And at the end of the day, they wanted to push it to Baba. And they went and then took permission from the governor, who is not an Ishakiri man, to give you directions on what to do. And he did it for you, so you should be happy with it. But I'm happy whoever emerges, which is normal. But what I'm saying in essence is this. I was contesting for Senate. And I was contesting with a very close friend and brother, Ejile, my Kedide. He's my friend. I ran to two, three very notable Ishakiri. I thought, I thought they could, you know, influence and bring us together to have a kind of middle course. I was shocked. One of them told me, ah, you will go meet Okowa. He's Okowa and Ishakiri, man. And now Okowa has left the position. He's in Asaba. Is he going through what we are going through here now with us? So we must develop our homegrown leadership. Homegrown political leadership. There are lots of things to say, but the time will not permit. Whether we like it or not, we are shrinking, and deliberately so. One, why would I be living in Sapele or uh, in a dual state? with no particular reference to anybody, and want to come and be patronizing politics in worry, why can't I use my influence where I reside to push my political interest through? The numbers that we have in Sapele can give us a chairmanship, or at what most a vice chairmanship. But today, all the resources in Sapele will move to worry not and compound the issues there. Five? Thank you. So we're shrinking. I will say this. The Urubos of Agbasa never moved to Efu. They have been here. They have been contending with us. And they're getting their way. That is politics. That is politics. So what is disturbing us? What is stopping us from also doing the same thing? Of expounding our political tentacles across where we domicile, where we live. And honestly, I've had you know, time to discuss some few issues. And uh, these issues are not cast in stone. It's something that is doable. Only and only if we are able to have our homegrown political leader. Otherwise, otherwise, 
it is going to be very serious and we will not be able to, to do that. So, I'll give some few recommendations. Although I've mentioned a few, we must embrace inclusive leadership of our polity, our political leadership. We don't have, as of today, but we have people, yes, I know them, they know me. We are all leaders. Everybody claims to be a leader. And where everybody claims to be a leader, who leads? Nobody. Well, these things are much. But if we must go it and go it nicely, we must try as much as possible. Thank God I could see that the women here are more than the men, and they vote more than the men do. But unfortunately, they have lost their voices. They tend to depend on the men on election day. Vote here, and there you go vote. Why? We must change. We must identify our cultural groups and turn them into political pressure group like Chief Ario was trying to, to say. These are many more things that we need to do if we must get there. Yes, being marginalized or being small honestly has a lot of consequences. One, appointment challenges. You may have inclusiveness and participation, which is not there again. You know, impact on development, which is true. And then a lot more, a lot more. So, what do we do? We have to strengthen ourselves and strengthen our communities. Strengthen our social cultural groups. For them to be more politically aware. It is not every time we want to, be, we are in Odoku, we are in uh, this dancing. And then when the police comes, we can see them, to mobilize them for our own political gains. It is unfortunate that we are passing through all of this. However, I will stop here, but like I said, if we must move, we must be ready that to know that it is not by the age that makes you a political leader. I will always want to tell people as a young man, I took so much interest in Professor Wolosu Inka. When Professor Wolosu Inka in 1952, 70 something years ago, founded the Paris Confraternity, he was the youngest among the seven of them. But he became the leader and he's still leading. So whoever that is prepared. Whoever that is prepared to be a political leader in Ishekiri does not necessarily mean he must be a billionaire. He must not be a billionaire. But he must have credibility. He must speak with one tone. If he tells you this, you hold on to it. And hold it strongly. Even if he's going to lose, lose at the expense of telling the truth. You must be credible. You must be trusted. And you must, the ability for you to speak the truth at all time will save his career. Thank you so much. Please put your hands together very well, please. Thank you. We've listened to that. The key points, we need political leaders. And political leaders who are inclusive and not exclusive. We should also learn to use our vote to enhance the Ishekiri nation. And lastly, how are we preparing for the next round? Just to vote or just to project the Ishekiri interest? So we're going to call on the last discussant now, Dr. Paul Irei Fodjo. He's going to speak on the social cultural aspect. Ogame, Shaki de Mokiao. Uh, 
So, and I will show why Jalen and Magigi, that notion will not really solve our problem. Not until we understand that democracy is an institution that protects both the rights of the majority and that of the minority. If we don't understand that, any worry about Kubo Tenenobari, only Ragidi Jerao, constitution in a way. A protect minority. A protect you. Erroneously came for Nakagigi, or you both shake Kuro, Abisha Kiri Shekuro, you both say what? That's a misguided statement too. And a Mario and a Kagiki Gigi, Baba Mount Wanshi, or Gamma Mount Wanshi, or Miniki Tinibudo Kawanbo Gigi, or Magibero Wagba Ware. See, I tell you the truth. Ogame cannot rule at the same time reign. It's not possible. With the present constitutional structure that we have, a mini, Omagido rule Roy, Gogido Rita Meta Bata Bagba, Okoto Mariro Dogba. And I'm Bagigi, when she ate the too many den and knee, and she didn't walk in the room. And she didn't wash in a kakiri. Tori or Majesty, my dad, you live or are doing it. Or Lubo Major, my dad, you live or are doing it. Came for so I should in a mini she by Jolo Mini Kiri. And another thing again, too, uh, and I came for the again in minority, micro, micro minority, we are all, and I came for Kako Bar and then we look for near you. Yes. And I can for a cook par and any lolly.
o we minority be minority no si popo mi ni kewe si ma popo mi ala mi wa popo wo tori oguro kan ran bo wonu ba sa okay let me give one very simple example constitution and eka gigi we have freedom of association freedom to religion the defender will give ben eran Amanumba GP ne kredi shekiri EP ma gbo kan gba fin e wo ma re gba report ni police station olopa wa arrest EP o abi te ku mo pa aha olopa de ma arrest EP go si gido re gba mi statement i shiro aha so moro gigi and I'm a far for all that for my journey. Then I'm a minimum with an end of bashi. So, more believe gigi when it's no one around. One gigi, there is need for a reform. And that reform will start with the constitution. So the constitution will protect any as minority. In no kunu to a mini she. In no kunu to a mini she. Tori, ene as Shekiri, ene believe our system is monarchical. But in the constitution, it's just an appendage. Hey, it is very, very meaningful there. So let's have the appendage, won't she? That money where she shan. That will like you wear it. So, ene ma tu ene bagigi, dene re ba afoli, e wa fi vo ene. So, another thing again, and my mini men will pull over my gigi, Shatamba Gida advocate we talk like that. So that, and my mini for care care of maybe probably or Sawawa Balabene. Now, with, with our federal structure, and the federal structure and number operate, but below, unit train and number she roll. But with the present dispensation, gigi, there will be autonomy. Of the local government. And I give you a gig in for our favor, for our sank bene. But anything more you won't be over the favor and anything that amount. But a mimi de gig bem gigging and a mamini no walker. But my gigi or gamma wa mini shun did the fefen egg bene. Getting a car on, oh, I'm the juja rene. Then, oh my wa, and then see gigi a UN affair because it's already autonomous. But the constitution we call coral, a caribbean gigi, the local government is a tortier that get now without any effect. But Boja, we are back to gigi, okay, let's run a true democracy or true federal system. But the name of the gigi may rule, go by meaning aware, but. Let's start with the autonomy and see how it's going to look like for us. I won't care for the more I beg you, give me my wrong. Allow me to share my share. More my gigi, the centralized nature of our curriculum and the exam system we are doing will not help our culture. Our core values, they will mean help. But, and I'm going decentralize our curriculum with the help of what is happening now for the local government autonomy maybe wale ne gidije ba ma o tonu ba si na je ne to re ene gidije ta gido de ba ku ise kiri we ro ba de ku ise ba de fu ise kiri won are ba ko e mo su ta jawe won are ba ko nu were ene ni de ba mu sa jawe so that o ma re ba wa but you go key, then uh, try as much as possible to inculcate our own values, you know, into our children. So, So, Momunu be babe, no son we, gigi, e neru te ne wa minishi, ne ne manyuk be norof, norishi. But, 
on to ra lele izad on to ma go rise mi ni se gbere ma di rise do se won o ma di rise do se gbere rise wa se won on to we mi ni se won rise wa mi di se gbere o gi ame mo dopo gbe se ki dede to mi opportunity we gbe mi o gi ame i will just take two key points Ogiame cannot rule and reign. We must know that. And so, we must learn to protect our king. And secondly, we now have, in quotes, some degree of autonomy at the local government area. Let's use it effectively to promote Ishekiri. God bless you, my brother. I will hand over to the MC now. All right. It's been a very informative, educative uh, discussion and lecture. All right. Straight to the point. We have question and answer session. Please, for the want of time, for the want of time, please, for the want of time, we are just going to take the questions from the four cardinal uh, sitting and reading in this hall just for the want of time, please we crave your indulgence. There will be another day for a larger uh, question and answer uh, session of this lecture. Alright, to, to start with first, we will take a question from the Council of Chiefs and um, I will pass the microphone. Please, where is the microphone? Please. Please, that one, yes. Thank you. So please pass the microphone to Chief uh, Brown. Mene, the Ogolu sound of Ori Kingdom. Esemede, please, no. two minutes, sir. Two minutes. You can just, all right. Ogiyame. Joy de Mokyan. Ajam Mokyan. I've just been told that it is to raise a question and not to make any comment. So question I want to raise that we I want to raise on behalf of the Council of Chiefs therefore is this we do not believe that we should continue like this we should not we do not believe neither are we walking for going down and down still the question then is how do we get out of this and maintain our values and the dignity that God has given to us as a people and using the resources that God has given to us now? How? That's the question. All right. Thank you very much. Let me have the microphone. Back. Um, Prof, who is going to answer this? Okay. All right. Okay, uh, I'll call on uh, Barrister uh, Wilson Alasha to please ask his question. Who's going to help? Just, yes, just say they'll pass the microphone over to you. Please, two minutes, two minutes, sir. Ogyam, Ojevare Mokia, Mokisha Kide to Bajon Bononue. Though I get a beer, you asked us to make a question, but I said I was going to make a comment. I said mine was a comment. Now, my comment borders on what Chief Ario spoke upon. And I think uh, on a radar also mentioned it. We, the people that led us earlier, maybe before some of us were born, they did networking with other majority ethnic nationalities. They did not restrict themselves. They didn't limit themselves. So I want to urge that the current leaders are political leaders she also network we have people who are good who check can enjoy good with from them we should not limit ourselves to shakiri alone we cannot carry ourselves alone by ourselves particularly the presence of we the shakiri eating themselves that's the problem we have then the other issue is emphasis on credibility. Because what we have faced over the decades, as emphasized by Honorable Daniel is we don't emphasize on credibility. 
We look for who will come and say, that bad, that bad every morning. He has no idea where you are sending him to. He said, you go to the house of assembly. He has no idea. He doesn't want to say. He doesn't want to do. Until he comes to you, he can't say anything there. So we need people who can who, who is thoroughly breed, who can be recognized by the, 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 the political leaders in the court, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Barrister Wilson Alasha. Hello. All right. Uh, we'd like to call on Engineer Alex Nehi. So just, just, I heard him. It's just. A... No, no, no. Okay, I'm yes. It does this, but yes. The chiefs, Ajamukia. Engineer, sir, just two minutes, sir, please. Okay. My first uh, gratitude goes to the chief that uh, discussed this, this issue. Realizing we are minor minorities, I think is one of the key things that we have Chakri Nation. Because we are fighting with people who are minority, and in reality, when the ships are down, they capture everything. I knew I was a minor minority in African school liquidity because the teachers, everybody there, either Yoruba, Igbo, were just there. Well, let me say one and some few others. So if we realize we are minor minorities, then the way we tread with people will help us to escape. And I think people like Okotiebo and the others that succeeded knew they were minor minorities. So they went into turbidite action of going under the ground to link at the base level, and that was why they succeeded. Greed, too, is a major factor. We have to reduce our greed factor. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, uh, Engineer Sir. Please, the last, last question from this side of the, of the hall. Emiko, please come. Emiko Abalagbe. Please. No, no. Is the last, is the last person, please. For the want of time, please, we have to move with the speed of light. I, I totally disagree. Two minutes, I, please. Yeah, okay, I understand you. All right. I totally disagree that the Shekiri are micro minority. We are limited. The Shekiri limited themselves. The Shekiri limited themselves to worry south, worry southwest, worry north. There are more than five, more than eight Ishekiri communities lost to the Okbe. There are 20 something Ishekiri lost to the Bini. There are Ishekiris lost to Ethiopia. Okay, the slapper angles and all. If all these people are brought, to, they are combined together. Will you call Ishekiri micro minorities? What are all of the neighbor people today? We all know they left Owoke quarters. That is the beard the descendant. If all these people are combined, multi security Air Force, we call ourselves a micro minority, we have political value. I have all evidence to tell you all today that Ishekiri are not micro minorities. Thank you. I thank you. Thank that. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think we have. Um over to the, um, all right. Okay. Uh, I think uh, I am facing an audience which is not exclusively Shakiri and preferring solutions that could stand the test of time to some of the challenges that we have talked about will be exposing your strategy at the end of the day. No. So, I would want to say that the Shekiri traducultural participants in politics must find a way must find a way to now sit down, a serious sitting down, which you may not even have to do dinner or lunch or even drink water for three days. No water, no dinner, no lunch. And at the end of the day, 
I think we'll be able to come out with a very fantastic strategy that could see us through. And in doing that, talking about what is uh -huh. uh -huh. You're welcome, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You. Yes. We well, thank you for coming. That is that is that is the I think that is the beauty of diversity. Exactly. <laughs> right. So like I was saying Attention please, attention please, thank you. Like I was saying, we will need to sit down. That is both the informal participants and the, like I said earlier, formal, like me and others who are in PDP, APC. Informal, the elites in the Shekiri who are also critical stakeholders. And then we talk about the Trado cultural. Please do your service quietly. So Serve sit quietly, down. please. Sit down, put themselves together, and find a way to prefer solutions in moving forward because elections are coming. And in that sitting down, they must be able to define what is the Shakiri interest at all times. I remember even after I had left the PP and they won the state governorship position, I wrote a memo of about five pages to every PDP member and leaders when it became obvious that we are going to be having three key positions to the South Senatorial uh, District. We were to have the speakership, we were to have the chairmanship of the party, and we were to have the secretary to government. However, that of the secretary to government didn't come this way. It went back to the north, which was another politics that was played on the intelligence of the south and nobody spoke about it the second one and i said i would not want us to be part of this historical mistakes that we are about to commit that will be choosing a party chairmanship over a speakership and i said so i have never seen where being a party chairman however i congratulate my big brother I've just been told, Chief Solomon Arenka, that he's going to be party chairman for PDP. I congratulate him. But I have never seen where a tribe that is so in terrible problem choose to be chairman over speakership. That was a misnomer. Poor misnomer. And these are the things we need to sit down and put in proper perspective. It is not the interest of any individual it becomes a collective interest of the Shakiri people. So, like I said, the hall might be too large for us to start uh, divulging uh, critical strategies. However, bridge building, bridge building. We are aware and we know that we may not be able to be governor in 2031. Who becomes? Let's start breeding bridge towards that direction, if Thank possible, you. towards the two ethnic nationalities that may be getting it. And whoever emerges, no, no morality. Dine and wine with him if it pleases you. But when it comes to the interest of a Shakiri, it has to be well pinpointed before it is done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. The speakers will just give one, two sentences to close up. Starting from Prof. One, two sentences to close up. Your Majesty, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, just to say that what bothers us as ethnic minorities in Nigeria and from Benin, and I'm here in a minority environment, we are minorities. I strongly believe that the advocacy of minorities 
can only become strong and powerful to make changes in policy and administration if we, like has been noted by one of the discussants, form political groups within political parties to put pressure on the majority to hear our voices. Thank you. Your Majesty, sister, standing on existing protocols, um, that this occasion may not become the normal occasion. I want us all to go home and think seriously about what we have heard here today. If there be suggestions, I'll take permission from His Majesty. A suggestion box will be open at the palace. If you have thoughts, because no man knows it all. If you have thoughts, why are we so greedy? Why are we quick to sell out? What are your thoughts on this? If you have your thoughts, please kindly scribble something and put in there. And then we collate it and add it to the reservoir of materials we have to work. Thank you very much. Ogami, shaki di demo be, ikiare ne uye na be ye ne, e wute ne ni na e nwe ye ne, dene shushi shakiri, dene ma shushi raja mire, ibi mama kwa ne kitiro, dene mageni shakiri ene shi, dene ma nukbo fungwa biushi shakiri je, mukia. Thank you so very much, um, Honourable Daniel Reynage, please. Closing remarks. Uh, well, my closing remarks will be, this was part of what I wrote here, how we fare will majorly be determined by how we plan. The nature of the individuals and groups that does the planning, and particularly how selfless they are, and the depth of their knowledge of politics in general and contextually. In this case, Delta. We have turned ourselves to minority, even where we have majority. So that shouldn't be our case. Thank you, sir. Ogiame, my revered chiefs, we have come to the end of this. But there are some posers we must take home if the Shekri nation must move forward. In all our discussions, what role does pride Greed, selfishness, wickedness play in moving the Shekori backward. And ask yourself, are these vices found in you? Secondly, numbers aside, why are we so quick to sell out to other people and we are fighting ourselves? Why are we so quick to say party is supreme when it's against the Shekiri interests. <laughs> Thirdly, why are we afraid to stand for the Shekiri cause? Why are we always thinking of our personal survival and not the survival of the Shekiri nations? Let's take home these ones. It's been a beautiful day. Thank you. Please, you can do better. You can do better, please. A round of applause as they go back to their seats. Professor Ma Ma Mary Oliria Edema, she has been our moderator. Honorable Daniel Reineju and Chief Mar Robinson Ario. Thank Mr. Paul, you ready for you. Thank you so much, Professor Osaime. Hello. Hello. So please, we want to thank um, Hello. 
homage paying as we appeal to you all. We've learned a lot today. So please, I'm okay. And I'm a boss. I told you to go to and I was a neighbor. So I get a loose only covenant church. Homage paying only covenant church, please. Two, three minutes. Three, three minutes, please. I'm a good boy. Holy Covenant Church. Yes. Holy Covenant Church, please. Descendant, don't Supply community. It's a community supply. Holy Covenant Holy Communion Church. Holy Communion Church. Holy Communion Covenant. Holy Communion. 
Holy Covenant Church. We share or we share Tanshi. We share to win on Tamuki Shakiri. So what to our can? So what to Shakiri did that? Tabaki that do quick bow. Do some bow. That to your people. Or don't do our way. I will have a bash you give. Do some bow. Shakiri community, supply. Is Shakiri community, supply. Shakri community supply. Shakri community. To Isabelle. Baba Gida Kian. Eh, <laughs> community. <laughs> Baba, she not done you. 
Where are we going? Not done to one. And the Raka Tamawa is shed in Baba Good Raka Batolio. And to you, she lolly now about a big boy. Eh, Kaka Batoli Akbo year. I don't know why that I want a man. A mamma gave me my air about those are bound. Those are bound. I kill her to lolly. Community. I'm 
Ebogiwara Unity Club, Anumara. Everywhere, progressive society, it's a bell. Eh? Everywhere. And do Eguarelewara, any Quaker to acquire the do bear, Babagida Kia, and that dog Quagba, do Sangba, Renta, and the by our way, we could drag by a we know. I told you, Robibo, that I just lolly it down by a car, Robibo, do Sangba. Okay. I got Ubaga community, Mother Anumara. Ubaga. Ajeta community. Ajeta, sir. I go give unity club I I go give way. I said, I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going to go to the community. Ajeta, Numara, Ajeta. With many, many rebels. Isha Krista, position, College of Education, Worry, get ready, please. Anumara, Anumara.
Beg. Hey, Minister, your lage party. The the combo the the. Hey, Baba Gida Kia. I na tu we border Beleni or Waje Dama Waje ne. Do sangwa o. Baba Gida Kia the the. Ye ba akai o lefu e. Where are you? Where are Jami? Kimi e wakai o. Ba no ire to abejuti Nigeria ne o. Do sangwa o. Amatoli akire to loli the the o. Get ready, please. Anumara, Anumara. Ando. Hey, I talked to the College of Education, Bawa. I used to buy this check in the College of Education. Hey, I can't make up with it. We said, I said, this is not the one left from. Baba gida do kwe kwa anga wa kwa kwa ujikale ya shikale. Do sangwa o. Masa kwe raba je o. Usha ye raba je o. Iri to usha ando watu ala o. Te watu ala watu boka ala. Watu baya ala. Watu boma ala. Do sangwa o. Baba gida do kwe kwa o. Do sangwa o. Ok. Awa li la bebe. Wari sa. Awa li la bebe. Awa li la bebe. Awa li la bebe.
And as government can you, I see government to I bet you I'm a bash in that way. She don't know what's up. She has she or Saturday, no, no, what to our teacher care out. I walk by you about you. About that can get that which I guess is our bar is really no. I don't know why I can't quit. Wow. I got to work while people buy you, those and bow, and not to leave your people about that can. Please watch out. Please have your feet. Don't go yet. 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 Don't go y
Ubajo Iwara Leaders Foundation. Get ready after Alex Nain. And uh, Otuma to we what is out to Niai Ogam. These are your children that were challenged where they were before in uh, Elume. They were attacked and they were sort of chased out of where they've been all their life. But they are resilient enough. They got themselves together and said, we have a home. And they came home to close to Bojedua and set up Otumara community there. And they have been able to rebuild their lives. We hope that they will not, eventually they will not lose what they have worked all their lives that somebody tried to, that some people tried to chase them out, out of. They are building themselves in the new place. Ogiame. Ogiame, I get that door quick, man. I'm a man, a don. Bagigi, a nebate, banemi, no, I'm quite a year. Those who are some barrel, a retired hour in Rujero, Mukunta, I see that we go go town go around by general, a jar by Joe Loran, a Sartu Lolly, Lolly, a Boma, the Atuma, the Defender, those some bar. Engineer Alex Ney. Yes, Ubajo, Iwara Leaders Foundation, get ready after. Engineer Alex Nay, please. Amulu, Amulu. Ovari, they make Baba Gida Gima. Ati Baba Gima Kwalefu. Owa Yanaba. Owa Yanaba. The 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 Baba Yuara. Baba Gwa Shibu. Ando Kwe O. Ando. Ando. Those are Baba.
And did on me wear it? I'm too moderate to wear it. Professor, Mary, you know what I'm saying? Glasses. Hey, where are you going? Richard. Mr. Richard. Eh? Professor. No, Professor, you have to wear it. Hey, but what are you? I'm going to be on my job, but I should make you. So, you're more a professor to wear. Eh, I like that. I like that dog. Professor, what is it? Boss and Oka. What that? What that? What that? But moderate international new, but we do have some good. But we are doing a lot of good. Oh, I give you book, book. Oh, Matubi, lawyer, we know, doctor, we know, and they we know. Do have some good, and they do. Oh, do some good. Yeah, to put that book book. And to we leaders for we do have some good, and they do. But we give that doctor a book. Oh, we do some good, and they do. Oh, we love book. I want you to be my baby. 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 Oh, my God. 